Hey. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Hi. How's it going, guys? Good, how are you? Very well, good. it's good to see you. Congratulations. Uh, thank you, thank you. I'll tell you just to kind of, like, the, the one big thing I would say is just kind of go into it uh, open-minded, open-hearted, and like a sponge. You're going to yeah. be, there's going to be so much information coming at you uh, from all sides, but each side is going to be so valuable when you step away from it and you kind of, um, you know, collect your thoughts at the end of this week. It's going to be mind-blowing. We're giddy, just to let you know, we're going to be loopy during this whole thing. So. <laughs> Thank you, Shooter Masterclass, bro. <laughs> Boom! Which one are we looking into? Okay, so I'll be asking you the questions, Kay. but just for Eyeline, just direct everything to Okay. Cool? What was it like being here with the other two bands? Did they help you? Did they inspire you? I think we've yeah. become like family. Yeah, they're, mm. su they're super rad, like, all create great music all like super nice people and they all have a like mindset and it's cool to be around people that have a like mindset as you it was amazing cool. i feel like we're like almost like family now and it's yes. it's interesting when the top three were announced and i looked up the lytics and neon dreams and i was like oh my god we could not be further apart like not just geographically but for a genre we're all working together, similar goals and stuff like that, but we're all gonna go into our own like kind of genre world after this and stuff like that. And then we can come and revisit like at the Junos next year and be like, hey, what's new? What have you accomplished? We're here with two other bands who are exactly where we are. And we've all spent time together and I know they're gonna go home and make tons of crazy music. And I wanna make tons of crazy music so that I can run into them again and we can talk and collaborate and whatever and to experience this experience together automatically ties a like a a, a memorable experience so you like we shared something this week with those people that you know you don't share with yeah. anybody ten, else 10 years from now you're going to go back we'll, we'll meet each other and like we'll talk about this time like oh yeah, yeah. you yeah. remember that you did this like those this changed our lives Performance last night felt really good. Uh, the HMV Underground, that was the first time we played there. Mm -hmm. And 15 minutes is a really short time to really tell really people <laughs> who you are. Doing a three song set is by far like the most intense. It's intimidating. Yeah. Like, cause you gotta bring your best and you gotta be hot right out of the gates. No, 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 no. There's kind of a, like a, a competitiveness to it too, which you know you don't really think about, but it's just like when you hear another really good group doing something really well, you kind of get almost jealous. You're like, I want to do that. When I walked off stage with three songs, I'm like covered in sweat, and the lyrics guys who were after us, they were just like, how are we gonna follow you? And that's the best feedback that we could get. I watched Youngblood and I remember feeling like, man, they're free and good. I wanna, I just, I just wanna beat them so bad, <coughs> you know what I mean? 
and you, but at the same time, you're rooting for them, so you're yeah, watching them like really killing yeah. it, and you're watching the room, and everyone's responding, and you're like, it's so excited, like, man, they're really good, you know. Cool part was getting to see the other acts perform. You've been hanging all week with these people, just because we're just socializing on a personal level, and it's not really like you know, you come into this, you don't necessarily you check them out before, like, okay, these guys are doing this cool stuff, this cool stuff, and. You get here and then you just start working personally and then it's like right you're really talented After I saw everybody play, like Neon Dreams is amazing, Youngblood is amazing, and and there's so much com like competition and there's so much camaraderie at the same time. It was very collaborative and supportive. Mm -hmm. And then after last night's showcase, everyone was buzzing in the back hallway talking about what it was what it was about your show that they're going to now adopt and incorporate into mm -hmm. their performances. If we were all the same genre, we'd be protective and scared about that kind of thing. And that's just out the window, and it's like, yeah. that's a beautiful, collaborative environment to be part of. Mm -hmm. I think it was Alex who said he was gonna like incorporate some of my dance moves <laughs> into, his, <laughs> into his show. And I was like, I don't know if I'd call those dance moves. <laughs> it's so cool to, to go through this with people just like you from other places. Like you, can't, you can't even ex explain it. It's like being enrolled into Hogwarts Academy for <laughs> music business. For music, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Do we get to wear the hat next? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any advice for future, you know, people who are going to be a part of this program? Like yeah. Future bands, future Come in with a notebook. <laughs> Come in oh, yeah. with a notebook, and also, as soon as you walk through the doors, check your ego, because you'll get ego checked real quick. I feel like that—that that was. That was a really, really big thing is to just be like prepared to ask a lot of questions and as many questions as possible. Don't bring your own notebook because you will get given a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Five or six. And then take notes. And then <coughs> use them. And go to bed early. Oh my God. And don't do go drugs. Go to bed early. <laughs> don't be afraid to ask your classmates questions. Don't be uh, reserved. I felt like maybe I, I wasted a couple days not talking to people as much as I could have because they have a lot of information. Always be open to new ideas. If you don't co-write, start listening, thinking about the idea of co-writing, that's all I'm saying. That would be my biggest thing. Don't, don't come in being a know-it-all, really take in every yeah, single so little bit of information that you're fed and don't, don't be closed-minded to change in your current practice. Like, this program works. This is the beginning. Like this mm. really, really to me feels like the beginning. And to me that is the most exciting. You have a legitimate chance to change your life here. You know, mm. when you come, take full advantage. This is your chance, your time, your destiny. <laughs> Do it, make the change for you. God bless. That was deep. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out. Don't even use that. <laughs>
cheat codes and 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 hacks and tricks in like like I got all the cheat codes. This whole week was just cheat codes. This second of two sessions that we had this morning. Um, I should say the second one that we had this morning uh, was great. It was really great. The <laughs> Where am I going with this? The no, first no. one. They, they've been filming us the whole time, so I think we should film them. Oh, <laughs> Introduce the yourself. Turning the camera. <laughs> My name so, is Greg. Greg? <laughs> and this is uh This is Tony. Tony, oh uh,